what is happening in YouTube? How y'all doing this awesome Monday morning? Um, we've got a bunch of sales to go over. Had a really uh, good Sunday. So we'll go over all the sales from Friday through today. We got some comments to, uh, to hit up and, and reply to. Uh, an interesting one as well that I'd like to uh, touch on. So I'm glad somebody left a, almost I would call it maybe a troll comment kind of. But we'll go over that as well. Uh, them trolls, man. But uh, anyway, uh, I've got, uh, my name is Joe, by the way. Just your average Joe hanging out in the garage. This is all raw and unedited. This is how we do around here. We're just going to hang out. We're going to pull orders. We're going to talk a little bit. Uh, hopefully I can share some of my knowledge with you and sprinkle some nuggets out there for y'all to, uh, to help you along your journey. Um, let's, uh, let's start diving in, man. Oh, and I've been reselling for full time for eight years, but, uh, I've been, I mean, I've been buying and selling on eBay since 2000. So I've been around a long time on eBay, uh, no thing or two. So, uh, have been through a situation or two, uh, <laughs> so I can, I can definitely, uh, uh, help, uh, as, so with, the uh, with, with a lot of different stuff if y'all have questions. So anyway, drop comments if you have any comments, any questions. I'm, I'm always here to help. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Again, just your average Joe hanging out in the garage. Uh, let's see what's going on. So first thing we'll do is cover, uh, we'll go ahead and cover comments uh, is what we'll do first. I got a few things I want to touch on as well, and then we'll start pulling orders. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and hit it, hit it, hit it. Um, all right, let's start off with Jesus. Jesus says, Hey, average Joe, glad to hear the sales are up. Happy hunting on Saturday. Can't wait to see the treasures as always. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Jesus. I, uh, uh, I think that was on my Friday video. Uh, Saturday went pretty well. I think I, you guys saw that video uh, as well. I think you touched on that one too. Uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate it and happy hunting as well for you. Uh, or hopefully you did well. Uh, let's see. Replied on newest video all right let me go ahead and copy that so we don't have to let's go all right next one up is uh hey zeus again update at 749 car batteries are expensive uh they sell refurbished ones and have good that have good sales and hold the charge for the fraction of the cost just trying to help oh uh yeah uh, my, my neighbor's car has been messing up uh yeah her battery she she went ahead and just bought a new battery uh she says she hasn't bought a new battery in forever but uh um, yeah, I just been helping her for the past like day, just, just uh, with my charger and just jumping and, uh, giving her a jump and trying to get, you know, figure out whether it's the alternator or battery. Um, we've determined that it is the battery at this point. So she, yesterday she, uh, um, went ahead and got another battery and, and got it put in. So, but no, I appreciate that. I didn't even know they did refurbished batteries to be honest with you. Where do you buy refurbished batteries at? That's, that's probably the good, uh, next good follow-up question. I usually get my batteries from like AutoZone or walmart so i wouldn't even know where to to go purchase a used battery yeah let me know that's uh that's interesting i didn't even know they did that um all right well i appreciate the heads up as well jesus uh let's reply to that all right next one up is yarina she says happy to see that your sales are better they were they were better and then they went down uh, and then they went up again. So it's just the eBay ping pong, man. You know how that goes. Um, still at the RV resort. We enjoy the same things. Yes. RV camping is the, is the good life. Lake life, camping lives. Yes. Uh, we enjoy the same things. We also have a jet ski and our RV looks similar to yours from what I saw in your first videos. Uh, yeah, we got a 26 foot wildwood. Uh, with the one, <clears throat> it's got one pop out. It's got two bunks for the girls, uh, and then it's got a fold down bed for us. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a little. I mean, it's it's enough. It's good for us. Uh, but I mean, it's our first camper. I'm sure at some point down the road, me and my wife have talked about um, renting that, using that one as a rental. Um, through there's a like an RV rental thing, and I could actually the the you know within an hour radius, I wouldn't mind taking it within well probably within two hour radius. Um, but I would actually I, I I would I wouldn't want them to to drive it, so I would actually do the 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 pop up and tear down. So like the lake that's near us within an hour, we got Yogi Bear within an hour, we got uh, a couple other spots, ca uh, pretty decent camping spots within an hour hour and a half of where we're at. I mean. If you push a little bit further, um, I could even do the beach, do Myrtle Beach and things like that. Wilmington, if people wanted to rent it and take it there, I could, you know, obviously I'll be charging them for the rental and some, you know, additional fees and things for setups and things like that. So, I mean, I could incorporate that 
um, uh, in the rental and, and go as far as like Wilmington or, or uh, maybe even as, as west as Charlotte, possibly. That's you're, you're again pushing two hours there. Uh, but anyway, so the plan is possibly at some point down the road when we're ready to get another one is to use that one uh, as a rental and rent that one out. And I can just, you know, on the weekends, um, go set it up for folks. It takes 30 minutes for me to pop it up and set it up. And then it takes another 30, 45 minutes for me to break it down. So, uh, and all that stuff is included in your cost and whatnot, as far as what you charge. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you can also do the ones where they pick them up and they take them, but the problem is, is that for me, that's probably where a lot more risk is is gonna is gonna happen, is when you have somebody hitch up and take it somewhere, and then and then they're gonna put it up and then break it down. I can tell you right now, if you're not a if you're not an RV person and don't really know much, I can show you. However, it's easy to mess something up. It's easy to break something. It's easy to 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 not level it right or do something that's not you know so. Uh, forget that a valve is what just any little thing, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, I'd rather you forget to put a chuck up, you know, put, put the chuck down, but you know, before you undo the, uh, I mean, so most people aren't dumb, but there's some dumb folks out there. So you, you just, I would rather, I feel better if I take it, set it up and break it down. They just, they just show up and, and enjoy it and, you know, pay for the, for the time they're using it. And, and, uh, you know, those fees are incorporated with the breakup and, and tear down because it's more convenient. You know, you don't have to do all that stuff or trailer it anywhere. So, you know, those things are all kind of, you know, this, it's uh, yeah. So I'm saying all that to say that's that's our plan. But, yes, I love our uh, we're, we're RV folks, too. Cool. You're getting uh, getting to go to the lake uh, on the RV uh, for so many days. Yeah. Yeah, man. The heat here in the South, uh, the heat here in South Florida is just outrageous. It is, it, I'm sure, because we're not too far from it. Um, I can tell you that we're experiencing 100 degrees at 1 a.m. That right now it's cooled off, but that was us last week uh, up to the day before yesterday, actually, until we started having storms finally come through. It was brutal. Even at night, that night I was taking my video, I was sweat, starting to sweat pretty bad. It was, it was bad. Uh, and it was one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so that's, that's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, where's, where, what, where are you actually from? You are, you know, if you're, you're, uh, you're down in Florida visiting or uh, vacationing, where's home? What state? Uh, I can tell you're experiencing 100 degrees at 1 a.m. Two minutes outside and you feel like you're melting. Yes. Anyways, enjoy the videos as usual. Well, you are, you nailed it on the head. It is brutal. It has been brutal this last about 10 days. Um, it has been brutal. That's for sure. Weather's been terrible. Uh, heat has been terrible. Uh, we've needed the rain, man, because all of our grass is turning brown. Everybody. It was just it was bad. Uh, Justin says, thanks for sharing. Great sales. Uh, I've uh, I've been happy uh, with my sales. 2,000 over 14 items. Wow. Finally sold a Pokemon booster box. Well, you're selling some high end stuff, man. Is that Justin is the stuff you're selling like your personal stuff that you're just getting rid of? Or is this stuff that you're picking? and get it because if you're picking stuff and making that kind of money man like i need to learn from you boss uh finally sold a pokemon booster box 56 items listed man you're doing good man i need i need you need to do some videos i need to learn from you um all right next one up uh winston says enjoy your channel man very entertaining and educational well, winston i appreciate that i appreciate that if i can help at all man you know i mean anything you got going on if uh you know you have a question or about how I do something or something you got going on that you're not sure how to handle, man, I, I'm always here to help. I appreciate you watching. Hey, Zeus says, Average Joe, how much percentage do you promote your items? As always, thank you. Hey, Zeus, typically 5%. Whenever I do promoted listings, I'm normally at 5%. Um, I've done 6%, but normally I'm at 5%, which is why wow, that's a big difference, right? Yeah, no, uh, but uh yeah, five percent. Anytime I do promoted listings, I'm always at five percent. I do the flat standard five percent. It's it's we call it lazy or easy. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's just that I've done the five percent literally since I started doing marketing the promos. I've always done five percent. Um, I just feel like you're giving eBay. You're I'm already you know discounting prices, and then I'm already giving eBay a bunch of fees, and then now I'm going to have to give them more fees. So you know you go up another ten percent, fifteen percent. Like it's they'll recommend like twelve percent, eleven percent. 9%. So I don't do what they recommend. I do 5%. You know, it gets more eyeballs. It gets, it, 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 it makes me happy. Now 
I could maybe try 10% and see what happens if it gets any busier. Uh, I never have. Um, but anyway, 5% is where I, where I normally go. So, um, let me reply to that. All right. Excuse me. Um, Yarina says, hi, heading back home. Good times camping. It was pretty good pickup. It was pretty good pickups. I appreciate it, Yarina. Again, where's home? Let me know where home is. What state? Um, I know you said you were vacationing down in Florida, but where's home? Where are you heading back to? Next one's Kurt. Uh-oh, Kurt's back. Uh, yo, yo, average Joe. Nice pickups, man. That Nikon is money. The Nikons are always pretty good. Yes, not not bad. That one camera you mentioned, that Olympus, uh, I was pretty tickled. Uh, I looked it up. I was like, okay, it's like over $100. I was like, okay. I bought, had to buy a battery for it, little 12, 3, 4, whatever voltage, little fat batteries. So I bought a two-pack of those, so I'll throw both of those in with the bundle like 10 bucks for a te- for a two pack. So it's worth it. Uh, you know, obviously make sure it's working and stuff like that. And then it's, you know, when they get it, they don't have to worry about getting battery, the customer. So, uh, the Nikons are money. Uh, wonder boy is a good title, maybe 40, 50 bucks. Wonder boy. Comp- yeah. Wonder boy. It doesn't have the manual. It's like 50, 50 bucks. Exactly. Without the manual with the manual, it's like six seventy ish. Um, so yeah, there was, there were some good, there was, I got some good stuff in that bundle. Wow. You did awesome. Best thing I got. Um, this week was five NOS, five NOS pieces of makeup, five NOS pieces of makeup. I'm not too familiar with NOS or NOS. Uh, she had it marked for 25 cents. So I picked them up. Then when I got into the car, I looked them up and they sell for 75 each. Wow. So that's a, a buck 25 into, I don't know, do my math, 150, three, 375 or something like that. It can't beat that. Uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for NOS makeup, I guess. I, I don't look at makeup very often. Uh, I know there's money in it, but I don't mess with makeup too much. Um, with none listed right now and 12 sold smack city. Dang. Yeah. So it's got a good selfie rate too. There you go. Uh, well, Hey, great pickup there, Kurt. That's, that's amazing. All right. Where are we at next? We got Jesus, uh, great yard sale finds. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you for the lessons and always cheers as always. Thank you. And cheers again, Joe. Jesus, I appreciate it. I think I did pretty good on, uh, I think I did pretty good on those pickups, uh, this week. Um, let's see, Justin, we got two more comments, Justin. Thanks for sharing. Great pickups. Congrats. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. I think, um, the Pokemon, the Pokemon, uh, crystal was definitely, uh, definitely a, a nice little pickup. I mean, you know, when you see a game boy bundle and you see a Pokemon, a couple Pokemon games in there, the, some big ones, it's like, Oh man. Uh, and then all the games with the, with the switch, that was, that worked out well. And this is our, uh, Kurt Lee. So Kurt Lee, uh, 1983, Kurt Lee says, this is uh, I don't know if Kurt Lee is just being, um, sincere or whether he's trolling but uh kurt lee says amazes me how people can make a living off ebay ebay uh off ebay with all their fees so you know i mean you know kurt it's it's uh i'm living proof as almost say you know um it amazes me that people don't think you can make a living on ebay (laughs) if you know what you're doing and you know what the value of things are it's like anything else. It's just like big box stores. Big box stores buy stuff cheap from manufacturers and sell them in their store for markup. When you just it's the same thing as a reseller selling on eBay. eBay gives you the platform to give you a bunch of eyeballs so you can buy stuff cheap. Like, for example, this jacket for, I don't know, five dollars and sell it for fifty dollars. I mean, that's you know, that's so it amazes me why people think you can't make money on eBay. Is it work? Do you need space? Do you know, do you need to know what you're doing? Do you know, do you need to know how to source? Yeah. So maybe you don't know how to do those things and, and a nine to five is your thing and that's fine. There's, there's, there's more than one ways to skin a cat and make a living. Uh, but again, it amazes me that people think that you can't make a living on eBay. Um, and really any platform because of their fees. I mean, unless you're just selling strictly through marketplace, which, Marketplace is a headache with all the bots, all the scammers, all the BS, all the people that want to meet and then don't show up. You know, marketplace is a headache, man. I mean, yes, it's cash money. Um, you're not going to get as much out of your stuff out through marketplace typically, unless you're niched into certain things like uh, maybe video games, maybe, I don't know. I'm just the only one that I, I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, obviously there's, there's going to be others, uh, but there's, 
not, most of the time people on marketplace look for a deal. They're not looking to pay full price for stuff. So they're all, you're always going to have a hard time even selling full rate uh, through e through uh, marketplace. That's where eBay or Amazon even. Amazon's even better. You can make even more margins on Amazon and, and mark stuff up even higher on Amazon. The stuff I sell, some of the video game stuff I sell, like a Super Nintendo, you can get on Amazon for like two fifty or something like that. It's stupid. I can I sell them for like one seventy five, one fifty, one seventy five. You go on Amazon and they're another fifty hundred dollars higher. Um, so all I'm saying is is uh uh you know and if you pick them up for forty bucks and fifty bucks and you know that's that's again that's where those margins are. That's that's just like I mentioned earlier. Um, you buy something for five, you sell it for fifty. You do that enough times. It, you, that covers fees than everything else. So um, the fees part, again, everywhere's got fees. I want whatnot's got a bunch of fees, 13, 15, 13 percent or something crazy, plus the shipping. You know, they that then, you know, uh, TikTok's got a bunch of fees. In fact, I've, I'm on there. I'm, I'm on TikTok. I'm, I'm one of my one of my uh, somebody that works for me is on TikTok doing uh, a, di a sports memorabilia and the fees on there. It's like it's stupid. It's stupid high. Um just like eBay. So all I'm saying is anywhere you go where you're going to have a lot of eyeballs and, and, a, and a platform, there's going to be there's going to be fees, man. You got to get you got to get past it. You got to incorporate that in, you know, fifty dollars. I pick this up for five bucks and it's going to sell for 50. Well, I'm probably going to see about after fees after I charge shipping. So I don't have to worry about that uh, after fees and everything out of that 50. I might see 40 bucks. That's not bad. I'll take that all day. I mean, and I'm five dollars in. So I made thirty five dollars. You know, you do that enough times. You, you, that that wheel starts cranking and you start you can make a living so um anyway uh and again it's it's grind it's every day i'm on marketplace daily uh, all through the day i'm on you know sat friday thursday friday saturdays i'm looking for yard sales i'm looking for sourcing I'm, I'm i'm traveling going places picking things up doing deals with people i mean it's a hustle every day i mean it's it's you know so it's just like just like anything else uh it is what you make it i'll say that it is what you make it and if you don't have hustle and drive eBay's, you know, any reselling platform being a reseller for anything, anything, uh, any niche, any, any, any category, it's, you got to hustle. If you're doing it full time, now uh, you can do a little part time, dibble dabble, make a few extra dollars, you know, that's fine. But if you're going to do it full time and step up and you need, you know, you're making, you know, to make a living for a family, five to 10 grand a month. Um, I mean, that's, you're going to be hustling a bit. So, um, anyway, so Kurt, uh, I don't know. I probably didn't enlighten you at all. You probably don't even aren't going to watch the, the follow up on this. But uh, but anyway, just wanted to to share that with Mr. Kurt uh, as well. Let's see, is it Kurt? Why doesn't it put the thing on there when I when I reply? Yeah, I don't know. Kurt Lee. I want him to make sure he sees this 1980. We probably won't, but it's OK. All right, so we'll reply to that. Um, so there's that. All right, so um, all right, that's all I got. That's all the comments. So we'll go ahead and move on to sales. Kurt, if you're still hanging, this is this is where that whole uh, I can't believe you can make a living with all the fees. Well, I mean, when you're making the margins and making you know a bunch of sales, it's not too hard. Uh, if you're sourcing good stuff on the on the front end you know, it tends to, you know, obviously that's, that's going to help a lot too. So, uh, let's go over to sales. So we did have some pretty good sales over the weekend. Um, I'm, I'm set to deposit my goal. It's actually my goal. I hit, I hit my goal. Uh, I don't have it up here. Um, can I do it for the last week? Last, uh, this week. Yep. I can do this week. Let's see. Oh, that's just a waiting shipment. So never mind. Uh, I am. What's going on? Okay. Okay. All right. So, what? Right, is she taking Hannah home too? Oh, never mind. All right. So, we've got a total of 12 sales for 756.24. So, we did pretty good. Um, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days, 200 bucks a day is my minimum or my goal. So we did that. So we, we, we had a good weekend after, after Saturday, when I did that video Saturday night, we were sitting on two sales. 
uh, at like, I don't know, 50 bucks maybe. So I was like, man, this is gonna be terrible. So really 10 sales came through yesterday, which was amazing. And actually a couple came through this morning. So that really saved, saved my week. So as of right now, I think if I remember correctly, um, I'm set to deposit right around, I, I can't stop that. Um, I think I'm set to deposit right around 1587, if I remember correctly, when I looked at it this morning before I jumped on. So almost 1600 bucks is where I'm looking to deposit. Obviously I got to do all the shipping, so that's going to come out of it. So I'll probably set to deposit right around 1500, give or take, which is amazing because I haven't had a, a, a really good week in like three weeks now, which, uh, and I haven't hit goal in almost three weeks. So luckily we've hit goal 1400 for the week. Anyway, <coughs> really Sunday saved us at, I think over 700 in sales yesterday. Yesterday was great. Yesterday kept popping and something else sold and something else sold and something else sold. And I was like, yes. And it was all bigger items. So I was like, yes, we need that. So anyway, and then I woke up this morning with another pretty nice sale. So I was like, all right, man. You know, so it's, it's, it's pretty, it's been, it's, it's, I just, I'm glad I'm hitting goal because it's been dismal for the past, I feel like two weeks. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start pulling sales. Oh, you know what? Um, I got a couple topics to go over too. Uh, real quick before we pull sales, I had a re, uh, so this is just a little strategy to, um, it's just your customer service. You got to have customer service with this, man. You got to, you got to put your customer service hat on. Uh, when stuff happens and, and, you know, even though you may not agree with it, you don't like it, you're mad about it. It's what it, it is what it is. You, you got to remember folks perceive you as a, as a, as eBay or as a store on eBay or a seller on eBay. They don't care what the situation, what happened, whatever. They just, if something's not right, they're going to, they're going to voice it typically nine times out of 10 and, and you can't get butt hurt about it. You just got to, you got to deal with it and keep it moving. It's part of business. Everybody, Walmart has problems just like every other business that you have. You're going to have fallout. You're going to have some, you know, some thievery, some whatever, whatever, some scamming, some, what, you know, some returns some all that kind of stuff's going to, people are going to try to do those things. And, 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 uh, so you just have to, you know, instead of giving up and saying, oh, the heck with eBay, I'm done. I mean, you just gotta, it's going to happen in any platform that you're on. So what happened is, uh, I'm saying all that to say is keep your customer service hat on. That's a, a, a good nugget to think about when you're doing this is, you know, obviously, you know, you, you, I, we get emotional sometimes because we're like, man, that's BS. That ain't not, they did blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. Just just take care of it and keep it moving, because ultimately this is a machine. It's going to keep running as long as I keep feeding it. And you know what? You're going to deal with some road bumps along the way. So situation is i sold the guitar hero the whole bundle the guitar the drums there's two guitars microphone drum set the whole nine huge huge deal they sell for like 400 bucks picked it up for like 50 dollars. anyway long story short they messaged me yesterday and say hey one of the um no, two days ago actually they messaged me they started a return i'm like oh man are you kidding me so um and i'll be honest i don't normally test the guitar hero stuff i don't normally test them they look good the people tell me they work i keep it moving i normally don't have problems what's up What's up? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it might rain a little bit today. So the guitar, um, or, or they messaged me and said one, one of the guitars isn't working. And I'm like, okay. Um, you know, so, and they, and they did mention they would take a refund or a replacement. And I'm like, okay, cool. So they're, they're at least being reasonable here. That's no problem. We can, we can work with that. So I sent them a message. I was like, hey, I'm looking up this guitar, the one that you said doesn't work. Uh, it looks like you can pick it up on eBay around 40, 50 bucks uh, shipped. I was like, how about I do a $40 refund and you can purchase, you know, purchase one and, you know, we're good to go. They declined it and they said, I want $80. <laughs> uh, so there's my emotional, put my Italian coming out like, what the, the? like no, $80. Man, I was like, so I messaged them back. I was like, I tell you what, I was like, I'll do you one better. I'll make this easier for you. How about I go ahead and place an order for one and have it shipped to you and I'll take care of all of it. And, uh, the guy was like, okay, cool. So done. So I jumped on eBay. Uh, I found one for $50 shipped. I $53, I think $54 with taxes done. Sat it sent to him to his address. Cause you can change the address and we're sending to and boom, uh, I'm just sending it to him. So I'm not going to send you $80 or I know darn well, it's, that's not the value of the guitar and I'm not going to go back and forth, but I'm going to just own it and take care of you and get you another guitar and, and keep it moving. So I, again, um, that's just putting your customer service hat on. You gotta, you gotta have those customer service skills, you know, definitely apologize for the inconvenience. You know, I understand it's frustrating. You know, I'm sorry that that happened. It was working when I tested it, you know, even though I didn't, 
uh, um, but I'll take care of you. So that's what we did. We, I took care of them instead of trying to like make it a hustle bustle or I'm done with eBay, you know, like, I'm done. No, just take care of it and keep it moving. You're going to have, you're going to, I had a dude, I had a two controllers sent out. I think I mentioned this. The one controller was intermittently not working. You know, that was last week and another return. So he's, he's sending back one controller. In fact, I haven't heard about that and he hasn't sent it back yet. So I, I don't know, but, uh, but it happens, man. You just got to deal with them and keep it moving. Roll with the punches and keep it moving. Stay positive. Keep the smile on your face. Tell the customer you're apologize. You apologize. I understand it's frustrating. You know, I'll take care of you. Even though you, you, you're you mad and you're like, this mf or you don't let them know that. You just take care of it and keep it moving. This is how you got to do it, man. Um, I learned that through 10 years of customer service in AT&T. You just own it, take ownership, you know, let the customer know you're going to take care of them. You know, they feel secure. They feel they, they feel better about the situation They're, and less likely, even though they had a somewhat bad experience with the product, they had a good experience with dealing with you. So chances are they'll still leave you good good feedback which i've had that happen quite a bit you know i i just you just take care of them and keep it moving man so um that's my that's my other nugget for the day uh i also the mario game uh this is for you guys that watch the uh the unboxing oh, i actually haven't i haven't posted the unboxing video so i'll i'll just say when i post the unboxing video i have it on my phone but i haven't posted it yet so i, I bought a collection and it came in the mail it was three boxes full of stuff and um, there was one item in there. So I'll leave this as a cliffhanger for you guys. And we'll talk about it maybe another one after, um, after I post that video. But there was one game in there that is ridiculous. And I didn't know until I looked it up. Um, it's, it's something you don't see very often. It's something you see, but you don't, you see quite regularly, but you don't see this variation very often. I'll just say that. Um, so when I post that video, who, if anybody's still watching here, drop in the comments which what you think was the thing that was worth a lot in that unboxing so uh we'll see who's who's paying attention and who's not probably nobody but that's okay maybe kurt and yarina and uh justin and jesus possibly but <laughs> but uh but yeah so that's that's uh there was one huge game in there i was like i was when i looked it up i was like no way so that one's going in the collection so <laughs> kurt uh anyway so, so, and then the other last thing I want to mention is I also got two Game Boys from that collection. And last night I spent about an hour tinkering with one that had all the battery corrosion. So I just want to say this is, this is, you know, this is pretty cool. So um, I was looking up ways to fix the corrosion problem. So when the batteries get all corroded and it was bad, like all four batteries blew up in this Game Boy. So the one Game Boy was not working at all. Um, but I tinker, I like to tinker with stuff and try to fix stuff. So, <clears throat> so I, uh, um, started looking up some videos, seeing how things worked and what to do when the battery terminals are all messed up and all that. So I took it apart. I pulled the battery terminals out. Uh, I took, pu pulled the board out and you actually, all that corrosion, which is, it's just science and you don't think about this stuff, but the video was talking about, you know, let it soak in white vinegar. No, well, I didn't have white vinegar. I got apple cider vinegar and I got red wine vinegar and I got balsamic. Well, I took out, I know apple cider is good for tons of different things. So I poured some apple cider in a little, little cup. And I put the terminals in there and started just, it just started bubbling like crazy because it was eating away at all the, all the acid, all the corrosion uh, that's on the battery terminals. And then the, the terminals that were on the board, I just kind of dipped it in the, uh, the um, uh, dipped it in the, the uh, uh, apple cider vinegar, let, let, let it do its thing for a minute. And then it, everything came super clean. All the corrosion came off. I even did it on the plastic because the plastic had all the residual nasty, uh, hard, acid that's still you know in the in the plastic too and all the cracks and crevices so i actually dumped the uh took a q-tip and you know put a bunch of the apple cider vinegar and on the plastic as well and it just ate, eats up all that corrosion rinse everything out let everything dry put everything back together boom it worked fired up i was like get out of town now the the next issue is is the screen has the lines in it so i looked up a fix for that they they say you got to take a soldering iron to the board uh, or to the, to the bottom part of the screen and, and it'll heat up the, 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 uh, what's it called? The solder and it will help reconnect to the board. And that would, that should fix your lines on the screen. Well, it didn't work. I, I was, I was up last night trying that and darn near burnt the thing up. But, uh, so that, that didn't work so well that, that so I still got lines all through the screens, but the fires up and it works. It's just got lines on the screens now. So it's a matter of, you know, do I replace the screen? I don't really want to because that's a whole nother, it's a soldering, it's a ribbon that you solder to the board. And I'm, I, you got to take the, 
use the flux to get the stuff off and then you got to put it back on and and there's a different type of 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 solder you got to use to do it I, i'm just i'm not a pro solder so i mean i um so i'm not going to do all that i'm just going to sell it as as is working but lines through the screen so i got basically two of them in the same in the, the, the same same thing they fire up they work but they got lines through the screen so somebody else can tinker with it and replace the screens on them you know and and either make money or have have you know working game boys because you can put isp screens on them and all that kind of good stuff and make them brighter and cooler and all that then and so um anyway so i'm saying all that to say i tinkered with the game boy and got it working so even if it's got battery corrosion and that goes for i guess almost anything the corrosion just makes the contacts where it doesn't pick up anymore and so it doesn't work i've always thought that it would just it fries the board and it's done it's shot apparently not it li it's literally like the board really didn't get affected it was just the terminals were just way gone you gotta get all that corrosion off of it because it, it doesn't it doesn't make contact anymore um so uh, and that stuff just sticks to the metal and makes it basically rusts the metal through. It's, it's super corrosive on the metal. So anyway, I just want to share that Game Boy. Uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I fixed the Game Boy last night for the most part. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on to sales. First sale that we had, we have 12 sales again for 15, 7, 50, 6, 24. So let's see what's sold here. We got a t-shirt, UNC Tar Heels long sleeve. Let's find this bad boy. Uh, UNC Tar Heels long sleeve. It's white. It's probably over here. Oh, man. <clears throat> Have I ever said I hate clothes? <laughs> I even hate looking for clothes. But they sell. So, um, yeah, I believe this is it right here. But they sell. Man. All right, so this sold for... You want to see Tar Heels? Yep, you want to see Tar Heels? Sold for $13 plus shipping. $13 long sleeve Tar Heels t shirt. Pretty nice. So $13 plus shipping. Next thing that sold was a hat. I've been holding on to this thing for a while. Let's see. I think that's it right there. Yep. I put up a bunch of stuff on eBay yesterday. I put up like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars worth of stuff on eBay yesterday. So um, just trying. I got a bunch of bunch of stuff still. I got to get up, man. I mean, I'm it's it's I'm, I'm falling. I'm not really falling behind because it's, but I'm kind of falling behind. I feel like. Uh, but anyway, Camaro hat sold for twenty four dollars plus shipping. But I got a lot of stuff I got to get up on eBay this week. I'll just say that. Uh, phone. So this phone was jail bro or is locked up. The Google account on it is locked up, but, um, let me leave this out cause there's more stuff in there. The Google account is locked up on it. Uh, I picked it up for a dollar. It's brand spanking new. I mean, this thing is mint. It looks like it just came out the box, uh, works, but it just, you can't get into it. It's locked up. So, uh, but, but people can fix those and get into those. So for $48 plus shipping. So uh, I forget the guy's name, but that's a perfect example of like margins, right? Dollar turned into 48. That's how, that's how you, that's how you bypass fees on eBay and say, I don't care about fees. Cause when your margins are like that, you, <laughs> you know, anyway, uh, that's how you make a living on eBay with all the fees. <laughs> you gotta have margins and stuff. Uh, next thing that sold was a TI 83 finally sold a TI 83. I've got like six of these now. And, uh, TI-89, TI-83 Plus, that's not, that's not the right one though, that's actually, it, it might be, yeah, that, that is it, TI-83 Plus, all right, yep, is that the only one I had, I thought I had another one, this is the other TI-83 Plus, that's, all right, so this one sold for uh, $21 plus shipping. And I normally, I got, it's got the cover on it too. 21 plus shipping, uh, TI 83 plus. Normally I pick these up for a buck or two. So there's that $21 plus shipping. Uh, next thing that sold was another Tar Heel shirt. This one is gray, a gray Tar Heel shirt. Nope. That was not it. That's not it. Let's look for gray.
Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. I may have to just find it off camera at some point. Is that one it? No, that's blue. Um. Yeah, I may just look for this one off camera. Oh, oh nope, right here. Perfect. All right, good deal. I'm, I'm, I'm making a little dent in the clothes. Not really, but. <clears throat> All right, so this Tar Heels shirt sold for $15 plus shipping. Another long sleeve for another Tar Heels championship final four. So Tar Heel shirt, $15 plus shipping. Normally, I pick these up for a dollar. So there's that. Um... Let's see. Next thing that sold was a DS white DS. Pretty sure this is it. Yep. Do I not have the charger for it? Pretty sure that's the charger for it. It's got the stylus perfect all right so this is uh yep so a ds uh ds light it's got a cracked hinge but it still works no problem so for 45 dollars plus shipping it's actually in really good condition still uh with the charger of course but it's in really nice condition it's got the stylus it's got the uh the bottom uh dust cover uh it's just when you open it up and the screen still works the, it still clicks and stays open but this hinge has a crack in it so um you know that's there's that so but 45 dollars plus shipping on that one donkey kong in the box let's go so mountain not, not donkey kong mountain king so mountain king sold on atari so don't sleep on atari stuff man don't sleep on Atari stuff. Atari stuff. I will. I used to sleep on Atari stuff, but uh, anyway, Mountain King sold for eleven dollars plus shipping. Eleven dollars plus shipping. Mountain King. So it told, uh, came out to be seventeen and change uh, after shipping. Uh, my Super Nintendo box sold finally. I think that's on the other side. Let me go grab that real quick. One of my Super Nintendo boxes sold. So sometimes when I'm trying to complete something so like for example this is an example of something i was trying to complete so i had i had a super nintendo uh complete in box but i didn't have the styrofoam so i i i bought on ebay a super nintendo box with the styrofoam and then i sold the, the box that i had which because the one i bought was actually in better condition so this is the one that I had that I was going to put mine in that I had originally, not mine like originally from back in the day, but just the one I picked up, I don't know, two years ago. And I just was like, I need the insert. I need the foam insert. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to, a lot of times what I'll do is you can't, there, there was no auctions up at the time or no listings up at the time of just the insert. So I went ahead and bought the box. There was somebody that had the box and the insert up and they had it up on auction. I ended up winning it for like $90 or something like that for the uh, box and the insert. <laughs> And uh, I think it was like 100, I don't know, 17 shipped or something, or 113 shipped. But anyways, this was, I don't know, probably about two months ago. So I kept that box and kept that foam, put all my Super Nintendo stuff in it, got all the, you know, in inserts and all manuals and all that stuff. And I got that one in my collection. And then obviously that means that the one that I had that I was going to use, I'm going to, I sold. So this actually sold for 85, 80 plus shipping. So this one's gone. 80 plus shipping on the Super Nintendo. Just the box, no foam insert, just the box, 80 bucks plus shipping. It's in pretty good condition overall. It's got a little wear on the corner, obviously wear throughout. I mean, it's old, but it doesn't have any tears or punched holes through it or anything crazy. It just has some age. Um, so next thing that sold was a Nikon. Let's see, Nikon, I think it's this one right here. So this Nikon, I've had this one up for a little bit. Yep, this one right here. All right, so I've had this one up for a little bit. Um, it's a whole bundle, uh, Nikon digital camera. So we've got the uh, your chargers and your new battery. You've got the, uh, 
anyway, it's this guy, the D the, I forget what model it is, but it's this, this guy right here. So digital camera, there you go. So Nikon with all the little accessories, paperwork, battery, charger, uh, memory card, all that good stuff, case. So for a hundred, 128 plus shipping, 128, 128 bucks plus shipping. So there's that. Um, yeah, not too bad. Next thing that sold was, let's see, game. Luckily, I just picked one of these up, so I'll be able to replace it, which is nice. Sometimes when I sell things, especially the video game niche that I'm in, because I, I sell a little bit of everything, but uh, I'm more niched into video games. Uh, it's nice to have more stuff on hand when I sell things. So, for example, like this just sold yesterday, and I had just picked one up Saturday. Uh, it wasn't the Indigo. It was the Glacier uh, the glacier one, but, uh, still have another one, which is nice. So I can put another one up, but this sold for 85 plus shipping. So 85 plus shipping, very nice condition. So 85 49 actually plus shipping. Um, next thing that sold was a N64 with the atomic purple. Let me make sure my, my mic's still on. Yep. All right. Uh, N64 with the atomic purple. Yep. There it is right there. I just put this one up too, actually, um, and it sold pretty quick. I need to maybe do the same thing with all my other N64s. But uh, so it's the N64 with the Atomic Purple controller. Uh, there's that, and then you've got uh, the only thing I bundled, and it's got the regular jumper pack. It does not have the expansion pack, and then a Mario game. One twenty-five plus shipping, uh, or one twenty-three forty-nine plus shipping. So there's that. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and then the last item that sold is a model. I gotta find this Joker. Where's the model at? Um, sometimes I lose things. Oh, right here. All right. So, uh, I don't have an inventory system. If we want to talk about that, that's fine. I don't have an inventory system. It's categorized to some degree and then just put on the shelves to find when it comes time. I mean, I don't have a ton of shelves. I've just got this rack and this rack and then a bunch of stuff right here with clothes so anyway um model 55 ford pickup sold for 19.94 20 bucks plus shipping so that's it 12 items 756 24 not including shipping i gotta i gotta take shipping off of that once i get done packing and shipping so that's pretty much it guys 43 minutes isn't too bad considering we covered some topics uh or some items some action items that i had we went over all the comments. I rambled a bit and then we pulled all the sales and, and showed off the sales. So I'm going to get this stuff packed up and uh, get it out for the mail lady today. So the stuff can get out of here. Um, hopefully the sales continue. Cause I, like I said, yesterday I put up like $1,200 worth of stuff on eBay. I've got a ton of more stuff to get up on eBay today. Uh, I'm not doing my helmet business stuff until Thursday. So I've got pretty much this whole week to just focus on eBay and uh, or at least the next three days or so to really focus on eBay. So that'll be the plan is to get eBay squared away and uh, a, a lot of this stuff up on eBay. In fact, I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to run out of room a little bit. Like my my shelves, either A, I need to reorganize or B, I need to start selling more stuff uh, so I can have room for the stuff that I've waiting to process. So um, uh, speaking about waiting to process, I don't have a ton left. I think I've got uh, maybe like four or five systems that I still got to get up. And then I got all those clothes. And then I got all the video games I can start hammering out on. So, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I looked at my pile. I've got like, no joke. I've got somewhere along the lines of, did that crack? I guess it's okay. Um, somewhere along the lines of, uh, I don't know, a lot of switch games. I got to get up before the switch before Nintendo releases another system. And I'm still sitting on all these games and, and then they all drop. I, 40, 30, 40%. So I need to go ahead and get that, get all these switch games up. But, uh, I probably have, I probably have a hundred switch games I'm sitting on right now, at least 60, 70. 
But anyway, I'm rambling. I got to get uh, get to the packing and stuff. So enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll try to post the uh, the unboxing video. Um, probably I don't know, maybe today or tomorrow. I want to do it on a day where I don't have uh, I don't have a lot sales and I'm not jumping on, so I can have a video uh, on a day that I don't know I'm not going to have a video. So I guess I'm kind of waiting on that, but I also don't want to go too far from when I did it because. I try to post real time for the most part, but anyway, I'll try to get that up here in the next, maybe I'll just maybe post it today and just have two videos pop up today, possibly, I don't know, uh, or tomorrow or something like that or Wednesday, but